What we have with us today is the all new BMW X5. Well, this SUV has had quite some history attached to itself. It marked the sport in the SUV back in the day when it was launched due to its great driving dynamics. In 2019, in its latest avatar, does the BMW X5 still carry forward that legacy? Well, there's only one way to find out. So under the hood of the new X5, uh, the 30D, the X9 trim that we have with us is a 3-liter diesel variant. Well, it has 620 Nm torque, which basically means that you can rock it to the zero driven mark in 6.5 seconds, which is commendable. Considering the size of this car, it's really big, it weighs a lot, the dimensions are truly big. X5 was also pretty quick for a diesel, for a 3 day diesel and even the new X5 retains that sporty character especially in the way the engine drives itself uh, above 1500-2000 rpm there's a smooth flow of torque there's a wave of torque on which you can just glide along Everything in the X5's cabin is focused towards the driver. This massive infotainment display which is a little tilted towards the driver so that I'm not distracted while I'm driving, my eyes are on the road. Then to this new MID, the new multi-information display which is a screen now. You can see your power and talk figures over here or you can see the map, or you can see your multimedia, or you can see your phone contacts. Yes, it could have done with a heads-up display, but honestly, it's not something that you'd miss a lot. So, at the night, the interior, the ambient lighting comes along really nice. The sunroof lights up as well. And the interior and especially the exterior, everything just falls into place perfectly. So it does look like a quite an experience when you're driving this car out in the night. Coming back to the main question then, does the new BMW X5 retain that sporty characteristics that its predecessors had? Well, yes, the new BMW X5 is still a pretty fun car to drive. Having said that, it has been toned down a little, especially in comfort mode, but I think that's what the market demands and that is why BMW has decided to do this. But at the same time, it's still a pretty nice to drive car, the driving characteristics, the overall driving dynamics are still better than most SUVs out there. This is Gunak Tagi from Mashable India, stay tuned for more such videos.